Hello from Tokyo. Tonight, I'm sorry about the lighting here. I'm using my ring light, so it's a little bit different to the usual daylight painting that I do. But I'm going to do a balloon smash. I haven't used blues for ages. This was, uh, I think it was greenish blue that I used before with some browns. So I'm going to try and do a wave shape today with the florals. And I'm going to use, this is Pebeo's Iridescent Green Blue. And all the rest of the paints here, these are all Amsterdam brand. So I have the blues, which are quite old actually. I, I keep them in these little containers. This one is Thalo blue. And then I have Brilliant blue here too. Then we have some metal colors. This is bronze. And we also have some light gold. I keep it in the container so it lasts long too. And then these are browns, Van Dyke brown and some burnt sienna, which I used also in the previous blue floral painting. But I'm gonna focus mainly on the blues. The base today will be titanium white and it's super, super thinned out with the pouring medium as you can see there. And I will reuse this balloon. They last a long time for me. And I have a fresh water balloon. Um, I like to make them new. I keep them in a little cup like that so they don't move around and a big ramen bowl for my balloons. So now let's lay down the white base. All my paints have been mixed with a pouring medium of a very very thin consistency um, clear pva glue it's almost like water that's why everything is so so um, thin compared to just using like glue all or or um, floor troll um, and my colors have a little dash of floor troll to try and make them a bit thicker but i can say my phthalo blue is super super thin today as you'll see when we start to uh, add the paint, add the colors down onto this. So we are using the torch to pop any air bubbles in the base there. I have a lot of bubbles today, so I'm taking my time over that. And now let's lay down the colors, first with the phthalo blue. And as you see me lay this down, you'll see it starts to sink. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do today, see, can you see already up at the top? So what I'm going to do today is actually put down all the colors first and then blow it all out and then do the balloon smash and then tweak as I go along. So what I'm doing is I'm just dotting the blues on. Um, the majority I want blues down and then I'll add a little bit of the browns and then swirl some of the metallics on top and then do the blowout. So I'll come back and talk to you once it's time to balloon smash. I hope you enjoy watching the video today. Okay, now that it's all blown out, let's start to balloon smash. And I like to start in the corners. So I'm gonna start here and let's see what it looks like. So yeah, see, it was really pretty, but can you tell that it's changed shape already? And that's because the base is so thin as well as the phthalo blue today. So um, these look lovely now, but after about well, maybe five, 10 minutes, they start to change shape. So. In this case, I will do double smashes on the same spot 
Also, I usually wipe the balloon after each smash. I take the paint off, but today I left the paint on in some of the smashes like I'm doing right now. Sometimes I like to leave the paint on if I am going to smash onto an area where there's a lot of the base paint remaining, a lot of the white, and then you get some soft effect, soft petals. I didn't like that bit there, so I just scraped it off. It's easy to also lift paint off with your finger like this, easy to edit, and then just add some of the base paint. You can also fix some of the petals by just running your finger through like this or getting a little tool or toothpick and then you can split the petal into a smaller size if it's misshapen. Going to use the water balloon now. And with the water balloon, I also leave the paint on after smashes for this painting. Okay, I'm gonna come back to talk to you again when we look at the wet version of the finished painting together. So I'll speak to you in a little bit.
Okay, let's have a look at the wet version of the finished painting. I'm coming in from this angle so you don't have the ring light reflecting into the into the painting. Uh, I love how this thin consistency makes these very, very soft florals. Uh, the middles are really hard to fix, so I just leave them. You know, I don't add any kind of pollen like I do with the other ones. Uh, because it just wrecks it so I just like it kind of natural like this that was the additional one that greenish blue pebeo one I do love the mix of the brown the uh, metallics seem to have disappeared that's interesting that's so strange well usually the gold's really strong right but they've disappeared there's that ring light so now let's have a look at the dried finished painting is it wavy i think it looks like a wave <laughs> i think so maybe it needs to be on a bigger canvas let's go in for a closer look at the individual florals it's almost like watercolor i always feel that when i make the base paint even thinner than usual Definitely use thicker pouring mediums or add more paint and make it a thicker consistency if you'd like more control over your balloon smashes. But I love how it all blends together like this, the thinner it is. And I added that one at the top there to make it look a bit like a crest of the wave. I like the phthalo blue. I really like the greenish blue that I did many months ago. Um, I'll leave a link to that on the corner here now, just in case you haven't seen it. Uh, but yeah, what did you think? Will you try this color scheme too? Thank you so much for watching as always, and see you in the next one. Bye!